When I see people who are seem to have a lot of joy, uh -huh. right? I ask them several questions. Do you mind? No, actually, I don't mind. Okay. So, are you <laughs> are you a happy person? Yes, I think so. And uh, have you always been happy? Uh, no, I haven't always been happy. Uh, do you want to tell me how, what, what point you became happy and why? Do you know what, what happened? Uh, I think that um, I grew up in like a really, really aggressive, rough place. And so like everybody, most people were like miserable and oppressed and suppressed and like I didn't want to be that way. And I felt myself, I felt that energy consuming me. And so at first my happiness was kind of like a, a, a F you to like the environment. Like I'm going to be happy regardless. I don't care what's going on here. And how old were you at that point? Maybe in my mid twenties. Wow. Mid twenties, somewhere around 23, 24 years old. And you were still in that environment? I was still in that environment. Okay. And so I just started to like, I had, I guess I had first a spiritual experience that kind of awakened me up to something greater. What happened? Um, well, I was sick, I was miserable, and I decided to fast because I had heard about a lot of sages and, you know, different people fasting. So I did a water fast, and it turned, I went from just starting a water fast to it end up being 31 days on just water. And that experience changed my life, basically. I uh, lost a lot of weight, I lost a lot of emotional baggage, and a lot of things happen, and it, it's like my heart opened up to something greater, like more expanded. Wow. You know? Um, and then I, I guess maybe there was some like veins of happiness running throughout my life, but for the most part, it felt like it was being consumed by this heaviness or sadness or depression and, you know, a lot of just depression, oppression, suppression, like that whole thing and negative coping skills. And then that fast kind of like broke me from that. Um, Hypnosis, I guess. Oh, great! You know what, I mean? what did you do then? Um, I started studying a lot of stuff, like, cause I didn't know anything about water fasting. I just started the water fast, and then after the fast, I wanted to know what was it that happened to me. Mm -hmm. So I started reading all these books, finding out like spiritual books and um, medical books, and all these things that spoke about the effects that water fasting have in the physiology and for the psycho-emotional um, matrix that you know people have, and. I started reading affirmations and decrees and stuff like that and started like finding uh, mantras, my, like new things that I would say to myself like I am love, wisdom and power, I am an irresistible magnet for all divine goodness that is rightfully mine and as I would be walking around I would be like repeating these things in my head constantly, constantly, constantly and then like this is just what emerged and then in that environment you know I had such a uh, something to hit against to kind of like break through but then in this environment, there's not much to kind of break what, through. What, I'm just, nobody knows what this environment oh, is. Oh, Fairfield, Iowa, or MUM, like, Mar I go to Maharshi University of Management in Fairfield, Iowa. So in this environment... I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have to leave. I love you. I love you too, at once. In this environment, or at least campus environment, there's not that aggressiveness. There's a passive aggressiveness there, but there's not that level of aggressiveness that I... That I you know, grew up in, so that there's not much to bust through here. You know, I'm just happy just because I'm happy, and it's like there's nothing hitting against that. You know what I mean? And do you expect to challenge yourself later then? Um, no. I mean, what, what if if you're in a? So what what, what do you plan on doing then? The epiphany that I had, right, was that uh, through through all these things that I've been doing is that. There's no challenge. Like, challenge is like this human concept, this human thing that we feel like there's something to do. Like, the value is in being, you know? And my giving is my living. That's that. Like, I don't know that the sun is trying to give to the earth. The sun is just being the sun, mm -hmm. and all the earth receives this sustenance from its rays of just being itself. At least that's my thought about it. But then, there, it's kind of like build yourself up to fullness so you can overflow and giving, so I give from the overflow, but spontaneously, like as a byproduct of being. I'm not trying to save the world, I'm not trying to be an influence on others. I don't feel like I have this responsibility or expectations to live up to the saved humanity. I'm just being. And it seems as if, from just that space, other people benefit from that, which is great. But it's almost, I'm almost aware that my 
for my for my life. Now other people, you know, I, I understand if you need to live differently. For my life, my singleness or definiteness of purpose is to be. And then from that space, I have my happiness. And from having my happiness, it seems to overflow into other people, places, and things. I must agree. I feel just totally enlightened. Talking to you. <laughs> That's what's up, man. <laughs> Good. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Bruce.